How's it going guys? My name's Kevil and welcome back to the Craft Adia server. So today I'm pretty excited. It's been a while since I've been online and we're over here uh, looking at a bit of updating that I've done. So as you can see, we've done some ice retexturing here and I think it looks really good. It does look a little weird to just have this cutout though. Uh, but that's going to get covered up here soon because this is where my new AFK pumpkin farm is going to be. So we're going to get plenty, tons and tons of pumpkins, which we can turn into emeralds. And I'm going to build that in today's episode later. Uh, that, it's, it's Halloween. We need pumpkins. We need lots and lots of pumpkins. And then the melon farm will come last over here. And then we will be all done as far as farms in the base go. And then all that will be left is decorating. So we did a bit more decorating over here. It might not look that different from last uh, episode, the end of last episode, but I've actually raised this up quite a bit. Last episode, it probably ended about here. We've gone up a little bit more and I continued it all the way across. So before you might be, you might remember, uh, none of this here was done and this is all done looking really, really good. I'm super happy with how this is coming along. I, I think the ice looks so cool this way. And of course, once we get everything up, we will do a pass adding snow and blue ice blocks. And I think it's going to look absolutely awesome. So uh, first things first, we do need to talk about this shulker box. So I think this is a very, very good prize. So this shulker box right here is going to be given to... Give me a second to look at Discord. Yes, this here shulker box is going to be given to... Pringle. The reason for that is because this nether key right here was supposed to be Pringle's prize. However, the server much quick, more quickly than I anticipated uh, made the nether keys become useless. So that is uh, just a waste of money sitting right there. I'm pretty upset, but it's whatever. I'm just going to continue and this is going to be the prize that Pringle got. So I'm going to put Pringle's name here. And then our next giveaway, which you could apply to during this, uh, right after you watch this episode, is going to be this trident. I think the trident is going to be our next giveaway item. So there we go. All right. So I gather everybody here today because we are announcing a new grand opening. Now, I'm going to say I basically did nothing to do this. Uh, this idea came from a mix of Mama Bear right here and detective demi who is here she is demi so yes they they work together with the help of lister work jordan guanira and everybody else uh to get this done so we are going to open it and i'm gonna see it for the first time i actually haven't seen it i was going to help with the building but they just ended up finishing it while i was at work and i didn't even help place a single block so i'm excited to see how it is and we're gonna open it all right, here we go. And the grand opening of maybe Pinkwing. Here we go. And somebody was already on the other side. Yay. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so yes, here is Pinkwing. Very, very pink. So it's going to be connecting blue all the way over to uh, black. So it's going to be another little square chunk out of the area. So we have black in that direction. I hear, I heard pistons. I'm unsure what that was, but yes, this here is the pink wing. So we have new plots for sale. Some plots already made. So let's check these out. So who did this one? Pixel, okay, Pixel finally has a plot, nice. So he's gonna be selling some items in here. Looks almost finished. Wait, is this shooting rockets? Oh, cool, cool. Oh, uh, they're pink and blue. <laughs> that looks really cool. Well done, well done. I like the way they're exploding against the uh, uh, whatever with the, the pink and blue one in the middle. That looks really cool. Well done. Very well done, everybody who is involved. And I appreciate it. Looks awesome. We have more rockets. So here we have the market pre-expansion. So you can see we have the uh, the four wings. We got green, blue, black, and red. 
And then over here, you can see mark it as it is now. And one thing I really like is that they added color, just a strip of color on each of the wings. So you can tell uh, which it is from the sky, and I like that a lot. So here we have Pink Wing, the newest addition. So we have somebody's build here, so we couldn't expand forever in that direction. But uh, we could do the same thing repeated, you know, over here. Uh, it seems that we have some empty space here, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't know if we have actually room for any more expansions. This seems very untapped land over here. So maybe we could do the same thing uh, going this way if we have enough, you know, missing plots, basically. So, yeah, th this looks really cool. I'm really proud of everything they did, and I'm excited to uh, see the new shops that pop up. So we'll come through and we'll check out the shops here in a little while. We'll give it a few more days for some shops to get sold and built. Okay guys, so we are back at the base. That was a really, really good grand opening at Market. And I'm very excited to see that place get finished and filled out. But for now, I do want to focus a bit more on the base. I'm really, really invested on the inside of the base. I wanna get this fully done if I can before I do anything outside. I know the outside is, is really such a huge part of this build, but I, I just kinda wanna get everything finished on the inside because honestly, this is the space that I work in the most. So yeah, I definitely wanna get this area done. And one part of that is uh, I wanna make a vault in here. So as you can see, here is my one own tiny piece of netherite. And yeah, I want to make a little vault in there. So a little hide hideaway door, you know, have some pistons that open and close it here. And yeah, we'll have a, a vault in this room. I think it'll look really cool. And then up over here, we obviously need to finish the wall and make our pumpkin farm. So I think for right now, I'm actually going to stop recording and just go into building mode. I'm gonna lay down like every single piece of ice that I own and we'll see how far we get. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit when I get as much done as I can. I know I said that I was going to uh, work on the ice wall, which I did. It's a little bit higher now. You can see where it completes. And, okay, excuse me. Uh, but instead, I decided to finish my cactus farm, finish it all the way to the sky, and make it more efficient by using the, uh, the end rod and the uh, wooden fence instead. So I have to uh, remove all the iron rods and uh, build it back up. But yeah, I, I'm finally going to get this finished, so I'm going to do that, and then uh, I'll get on with recording today's episode, most likely tomorrow. I doubt I'm even going to finish this today. Well, guys, it's been two days since I last recorded, and our wall is so close to the top. We are only like seven blocks away from the very top, and this wall will be done. Besides, you know, I need to finish putting lights on, and then obviously we need to do our second pass. But... I decided it was time to finally get some beacon power. So as you can see, I have speed two, resistance one, and regeneration. So I decided to kind of hide the, uh, uh, whatever they're called. So you can see we have the one, uh, the only beacon you can see obviously is this one. And I really, really like the way this looks. So there's, we're gonna have a, a stalag thingy coming out of the ceiling. Uh, this wall obviously hasn't been done yet. And the other one, you can see it's hidden behind uh, behind this wall, so we won't be able to see it at all. And then I add some chains and some new lanterns here. I think that looks looks good. It lights up the... Uh, it was just dark underneath here. Uh, and then also down here, we got plenty, plenty more work done. As you can see, I actually am really happy with how this is looking. So this... I, I want to imagine that this entire cavern was dug out. Uh, and then here's the walls, you know, melting and refreezing down. It's kind of what it looks like. So we have a huge cutout here for the melon. Nope, sorry. This is the pumpkin only farm. So yeah, this side's going to be pumpkin only. I realize this is the a lesser efficient design than other designs. However... Uh, I don't really care. I don't need pumpkins super, super fast. So this is the design we're going with. Uh, slow, you know, it, it's whatever. It works, it works. And then we're going to copy the exact same design over here for the melons. 
And then cactus farm has been growing. We we kind of we increased the size of our cactus farm a little bit. I obviously haven't finished yet, finished it yet. But yeah, it's kind of it's a slow go. Honestly, I kind of just got bored of it because it's a lot of repetitive things that you place down. But yeah, we are fixing the cactus farm. The old design, we used the one with iron bars, and that is definitely slower and less efficient. Uh, this is the most efficient cactus farm possible. Uh, with the string, the uh, end rods, and then the cobblestone walls. That makes the most efficient cactus farm possible. And honestly, with me just doing, extending up half the farm, because the farm is six deep, I only did three of uh, three high so far, and it it really, really greatly increased the rates of the farm because I'm doing it properly instead of the lazy way. Uh, so I then threw in some smelting here, and yeah, it's been it's been keeping up. It it gets cactus quicker than it smelts the cactus, so that's what I wanted. And have we had any yields yet? Is that our first pumpkin? Oh my gosh, yes, we've got our very first pumpkin. That is actually really cool. Very, very first pumpkin. Ooh, and it just fired again. So did we get another pumpkin? We might have. We might have. The hoppers are just being slow. I, I think it just fired. Oh, it might have just been something growing. It might have not actually been a pumpkin. That might have just been one of the stalks growing higher. See how that one isn't done growing yet. I didn't bone meal it. I was lazy. So yeah, we have we have only yielded one pumpkin from this farm, but it's okay. It is a slow go build. So this melon farm is going to, or this pumpkin farm, should I say, if I keep remembering what it is, it is going to be repeated, repeated all the way to the ceiling. Come on, let me out. And I'm kind of going for this design on the side, uh, Halloween themed. I, I'm not too sure how I feel about it. I I really don't know how I feel about it. But, yeah, I, I think I'll be happy with it. Continued all the way up. And then on this side, we'll kind of copy that. But instead, we will use lime and green instead of black and orange. Oop, that was a pumpkin floating in. I saw it. So, yeah, I think, I think I'm happy with it. I think that is what I'll keep, though. It really does feel out of place overall. But I guess the, the farms, no matter what, are going to look out of place compared to the rest of the build. Uh, so, yeah. We still have plenty of work to do, but I, I really do feel like I finally have a good amount of the base coming together. Finished. Close. Very close. So I'm super happy. I'm going to keep plugging away at this. I just want to give you guys an update. And yeah, I will update you guys here again in like a day or two with how far the farms have came along. And the, the wall will be done by then. So episode will be out in a couple days. So, yeah, it really isn't too much to this episode. It's mostly just updates, but I'm really, really feeling the, the grind, and I'm enjoying it. So, next episode, I'm definitely going to re-download the replay tool, so maybe we can get a time lapse of doing this wall. I'm not sure. I, I, do, I do need to bring back the time lapses. I'm just being lazy not having them in this episode. So, I will see you guys in a second, and I'll, let's see what the, how far we get by then. All right, so we have some pretty weird event going on on the server right now. Uh, as you can see, we have this dude right here coined the Skeleton King. And when you come up and try to hit him, uh, I believe he says in chat that nobody can kill the Skeleton King. I haven't, I haven't seen it yet, but that's what other players are saying. Uh, hey, sorry, you can't pee. Okay, yeah. Uh... So I'm not entirely sure what is happening. I'm not sure if this is a, like, raid type of thing. Wait, did he just die? Did it just die? He dropped 10 diamonds. Was that literally just 10 diamonds? Is that all they got? Okay, <laughs> either way, I, the server's running so so bad right now. As you can see, the mobs are moving in like slide slideshow formation. Like, look at how quickly this dude's moving. I'm not not sure what the deal is. Uh, but yeah, we've had some changes. We've had some changes. So I will go around and showcase all the changes. But first, we can uh, let's talk about the candy. We have uh, 
I'm guessing, uh, let's call it three flavors of candy. So there's green, red, and blue. And then the vampires have a chance to draw a Vlad mask. And I'm not sure, is what even is this? It's a carved pumpkin. So I can wear it. Okay. And then we also have Frankenstein's arm here, which I can use as a stone sword, five attack damage. And then Frankenstein's leg, which is also a stone sword. And there is also a Frankenstein mask, but I was not lucky enough to have it drop yet. I've only seen one Frankenstein. And this dude, okay, yeah, you can see he's got both masks. So that's the, oh, actually, that was the mummy mask. Uh, so yeah, he's got the mummy mask and the Vlad mask. So it seems that all three have a chance to drop uh, the masks. I'm afraid to do this, but I want to know, can you place down the Vlad mask? Because you can place down carved pumpkins. So what happens if I were to just put it on top of this here? Yep, it ruins it. I should have seen that coming. Uh, absolutely ruins it. So, yep, that just happened. That just happened. But uh, at least now we know. Don't place down your masks. I'm going to even tell chat right now. So I guess I'm going to leave this pumpkin here in memory of uh, accidentally losing my mask. <laughs> did it Did it keep its name? I didn't actually see that. Nope, just car normal carved pumpkin. So that sucks. So I just bought a new Vlad mask off of market since I lost mine by turning it into that pumpkin right there. Uh, so <laughs> we at least have that back. But we've so far gotten three, three, two of the candies, and then an arm and a leg. So we're going to... Gonna hopefully get all of the pieces, at least one of them. And yeah. Uh we'll we'll do that over time. I'm not sure how long this event's gonna go on for, but I'm I'm sure. I'm sure I will manage to kill everything that we need to. So I'm gonna actually get offline for a little bit, and then when I log back on, we will do some vampire zombie mummy hunting. Thank you everybody who watched today's episode. Uh, I will see you next time, and I'm excited to see what will happen with this stuff. Hopefully the server does well and makes it more than just what it is at its current state. Hopefully they uh, have an end game in, in mind. That'll be really cool. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. My name's Kevil, and goodbye.